Good morning. It is a cold and wintry, gloomy um, Wednesday morning. And I'm, as usual, on a morning walk to work. I haven't posted in a while, um, and a lot of that was because some stuff that I've dealt with over the last couple of weeks, um, uh, both outside and inside life has gotten a little more hectic than I wanted. But in addition to that, I've um, essentially given my five weeks notice to my church. And it sounds like a really bizarre thing. Um, and that video, the video talking about that is forthcoming. I really need to get on that. It's not even that long. But to be perfectly honest, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's taken a while because I've been trying to decide how exactly to say what I would like to say without, you know, pointing fingers or naming stuff. I have thoughts in mind. Um, anyway, that aside, somebody gave me a Japanese phrase book on the weekend, and I guess it comes from the fact that I have been trying to learn conversational Japanese and it's a little hard no it's not really that hard look once you realize what key phrases are and how they work and you can define kanji like you can read certain kanji it becomes a little easier um, learning asking if things are there or things aren't there is really good because oh hey um, I'm gonna need that when I shop for stuff while I'm over there. So that's happening. Um, in addition, I've gotten back into Final Fantasy XIV. That's a really strange thing to say. I did predict I would come back with the launch of Stormblood, and it's just a reevaluation of all the time we spent, my wife and I, uh, playing FF14. And it turns out that we really both like the game, flaws notwithstanding. The only problem we had was guild drama. That's right, even in, even in fantasy escapism, I cannot freaking avoid organizational drama. Just, I would like to be, I would like there to be one sector of my life where I belong to an organization and there isn't organizational drama of any sort for at least a year. Just 12 months. I'm only asking for 12 months. That's not much to ask for, but that's the, that's the upper threshold. I haven't even gone six months without some sort of major organizational related drama-ish type thing. Anyway, um, while I am waiting for the bus, I might as well bring up a gripe because this is turning into a bit of a ranty video. Uh, I don't... I have a certain problem with people who are so self-sure about their methodology um, that they won't test it and they won't accept constructive criticism of it. In other words, um, or to be more specific, uh, I don't like people who espouse certain evangelism methods in Christianity who are so self-sure of themselves that they will continue to do it even if it's been shown that it's really ineffective. So at no point, there's no point where, you, where they take it aside and be introspective and go, what did I do wrong? What can I do to correct this? They instead go, well, look, this just needs more prayer. I could, I could pray harder, I could point harder, I could evangelize harder. And to that I say, yes, you can, but it's going to be essentially pushing against a brick wall all the same. It's really ineffective. Um, and I would say, study. Study the word. Study what you're doing. Study how effective that is. Study what other people have done. Find what's effective. Find what works for your community. Research, study, but most of all, study. I think 
I have yeah it it's it it's not it's not a prime annoyance factor but it is an annoyance factor nonetheless if you are going to evangelize out to people um, and believe what's in your heart um, and not believe you know statisticians or people who specialize in that field in Christian evangelism or all of that sort of stuff if you're focusing um, on non uh, on methods that have been proven to be ineffective and not working then I'd highly suggest taking a look at exactly what your methodology is and figuring out what's wrong with it and actually accepting the fact that you can be wrong about certain aspects of it and correct it because that's how you get more effective that's how programmers learn to be more efficient with their methods they look at what they're doing they look at what others are doing they see which one is more efficient and they do it I mean it's really hard to get this across to people especially people who are self-sure because people who do that are well they're more faith over science kind of type they believe in it therefore it must be true and I'm like eh I put that to the test you're supposed to put that to the test anyway I've been ranting too much where's my bus later